good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are, my friend. Welcome, welcome to my craft room. So excited that we get to craft with the new feathery florals. Oh my goodness, have you seen these beautiful stamps and dies? Let's flip the screen and let's get crafting together, okay? So today what we're going to do is we're going to create a card utilising the card, um, the papers from the paper pad. So there are, there are pieces in there which are perfect for, for making card fronts, okay? Now I've chosen to not layer this up, but we could absolutely use our craft knife and come in and cut along the lines and create some depth and dimension just using this one piece of um, paper. So isn't this gorgeous? Give me some hearts if this is something that you are loving. We are live, so let's throw some hearts. Let me know where you're from. Say hi. Let's have some crafty fun together. So the paper pad brings together all of the stamps and dies. They're coordinated to um, for the papers to work together. I don't know about you, but there's been times I've been sat on the floor and... Uh, searched for papers to go with each other all the papers are designed to work together and make it easy for us to craft which is so awesome okay Lee and good morning my friend it's so good to see you Lana loving that you're here and Sue it's so awesome so let's have a look what stamps and dies we've got now these have only just released and um, we're using the floral feathers. So these debuted on Wednesday, yesterday, Wednesday. Um, and there's the stamps and the dies. And these beautiful three different gorgeous feathers. I, I kind of wanted to make a hat card and put these gorgeous feathers into some ribbon with some flowers on it. Love feathers. And then we have the Floral Feathers stamp and die set. And I think what we've got. So that was for those ones. There we go. I've got them mixed up. There you go. So these are the Petite Feathery Florals stamp and die set. And um, this, these images have got florals in. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this image and we're going to use this gorgeous little butterfly from this one. Lisa, you're loving the card. Linda, hi. Marion, you'll love the idea of a hat card. <gasps> My friend, if you make one, share it, tag me. I love the concept of this. And you could, wouldn't it be gorgeous with these, with these florals in as well? Right, so... Those are what we're using. And from the other set, I'm going to be using this one and this one. OK, just so that you know which one it is, because I know that you love to uh, make sure you've got the right images. And then we're going to use the feathery florals. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this image here. And these are gorgeous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can just snip into this and use it as a um, as our foliage. So we are not using anything else today. I've got 3D flowers and we're going to make them from here. So if you're a beginner and you've never um, had anything from Heartfelt Creations before, this is a great set because... You can use everything together to create this gorgeous card. Okay. <laughs> Linda, the Red Hat Society hats. You can't wait. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Right. So let's have a look. What we've done is I have stamped these 
in Vivid Chartreuse. So this is a lighter green than what I would normally go for. <coughs> but this absolutely works perfectly with these papers. And Vibrant Fuchsia. Okay. And anyway, it's really good to mix up what greens we use. I don't know about you, but um, how many greens do you have in your ink stash? I, I have to admit I have a few. I have a few. Okay. So those were stamped in those colours. And what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the green one as it is. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put our flowers on top of this. Now, I want to show you how you can do this without thinking, oh my goodness, how do I colour this? Not everyone is a colourist and that's okay. So all we're going to do is just that circular motions with our pink inside those flowers. We're not going to do anything with the green one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just lay our die over the top and then we'd run that through the die cutting machine and we'll come back to these later because I want to show you this one this is absolutely gorgeous and it's so easy to get this colour away now then I'm going to move this and we're going to stamp one so I've got my stamp and I'm going to use cactus flower and I'm going to use forget me not. Wendy, you're asking what die cutting machine do I have? I just have a big shot. Um, I have one of the larger ones and I have one of the smaller ones too. But um, those are great because I can get the moulds through. They have that wide mouth. Right. Let's do this. So I'm going to take the cactus flower. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Okay, so you can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cactus flower up the centre, not that far, just to here, like so. Okay, and I'm just going to come in with the corner of my ink pad and just put some colour into the centre, like so. And, you know, it's okay if you go over a bit it's unique it um all blends together as well when we come in with this gorgeous forget me not and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come around the outsides and i'm just going to use a stroking motion like so to put the color on the outside of that feather okay so the where it's Where the blue touches the purple, it will blend together and create that gorgeous effect. So let's pop that down and we will stamp that. Now I stamp all my images onto my deluxe flower shaping paper because it is such a gorgeous card. OK, look, there we go. Isn't that just so easy to create that colour effect? like so and you could use lots of different colors um the choice is yours if you wanted to use pinks and yellows pinks and greens yellows and greens and you you could have lots together and um, i'm intrigued i'm thinking that it would make a nice fan card as well so if you had lots of them together um it could make a nice fan card you could um put them together with a uh, a brad perhaps maybe and have have lots of different feathers coming out right so we've stamped that one and what we've got is we've got them all cut out and then i've got another one so i've got this one and i have stamped it in gold so i've used the encore gold for this one and I have heat embossed it with a glittery gold because I just wanted that little shimmer. Can you see that shimmer? Like so. 
Right. Now, what we're going to do is you will actually need two of these pink ones. And all we're going to do is come in and cut out these flowers like so. Go on. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a crafter that loves to have the whole collection. And what you can do right now is save 10% with the I Want It All bundle. So the I Want It All bundle is a bundle where you get all the stamps, dies and papers from the collection. And you get to save 10%, which is awesome. So if that's something for you, then make sure you add that to your cart. Head to the website, www.heartfeltcreations.us and uh, our shipping team will get that out to you. Right, so you can see all we're going to do is just cut those out and then what we're going to do is shape them. So I'm just going to cut these two out, but we would cut out all three um, from two sets. Now, if you are a colourist and want to colour these with your pens and pencils, that's awesome. Um, they work just beautifully for that too. So what I'm going to do is I am going to give it a little bit of spritz with my magic water and... Uh, any tap water from anywhere around the world works just as well as each other. And I'm just going to come in and just use my tool to shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of them because I've got a single mat here. And I don't know about you, but one of the things is if you've got a double mat... And you can push down into the centre, you get much deeper petal. So the petals come up a lot further. Okay. So that's all we're going to do with those flowers. We're just going to add some glue into the centre. And we'll just put some prills in. Now you could add some stamens, the choice is yours. Okay, so we just put a dot of glue into the centre. And the prills that I'm going to use are these gorgeous ones. Now, I just love the names of these prills. These are lemon chiffon. But um, if you have some of the prills already, you'll know that there are some real fun colours. So I'm just going to pop that in my tray and pop some prills into the centre. Now, I would normally leave them just like that to dry, but we will tip them out for now and you will see, there we go, that they have got gorgeous little centres in there. They're lovely shaded little flowers. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take our green floral spray and we're going to glue them into the centre. So you can see I've, I've put them together. I've got two more to glue in. So that's why I did six. I know there are three on the image, but I've done six so that we can really fill this spray up like so. Okay. There we go, isn't that gorgeous? Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and make the card. Okay. So I've got a six by six card base and my card panel. So we're just going to put some glue on the back of the card panel. Okay. Barbara, you're saying it is so easy to shape the flowers with those tools. That's so awesome. They they are really they're really good because I don't know about you, but there's lots of different um, ball sizes, which makes it really easy for different sized flowers. So 
you get a really lovely shape because if you use the wrong size tool on one of your petals you can get like a creasing on it and it, it just doesn't quite look so right okay so we've glued that one on and what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our gold and our multi-colour um, feather and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to shape that around my stem of my tool and I'm going to do the same with these with these sections so what we'll do is we'll just curve that round like so and it gives it just a little bit more dimension than just being flat like so makes it easy to do nice and quick so we've just curved those up like so and then we're just going to layer them together now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to use the circle of the card base as my guide as to where I want things so we're going to have this one first and then we're going to add this one on top so let's glue this one in place these are perfect for adding accents to any of the flower any of your flowers any of your cards they work wonderfully with the on it peacock that came out last month um great addition to your crafty stash um and so much versatility really is okay i'm very excited to see someone create a hat card with them really am okay and then what we're going to do is we are going to layer this one on top so actually i'm just going to lift that one off now it's okay because all of this will be covered so what i'm going to do is i want that to be poking out just a little bit more on my flower like so there we go maggie good morning friends what's the weather like where you are our country here in the uk is experiencing lots of snow so i know that my girls are super excited for snow but we haven't actually got any here where we are but i am sure that um in the rest of the uk they've got lots of snow so they'll be having lots of fun okay now then i said about this image now you could absolutely color these and make them into florals you could use these as a base to put your roses on your wild roses what i'm going to do is i'm going to snip them apart and we're just going to use it as foliage so as i said this collection you can utilize for everything so we've got our foliage our flowers the feathers it's a great collection to have okay so all i'm going to do is i'm going to add these into under my card like so so you can't see that snipped off section it's going to curl around like so and it just then fills out that card so what i'm going to do is pop this one in here and we will tuck it underneath there like so and then i'm going to use this piece up here like so and we're going to then cut this bit, bit up now yes some of the rose is in it but we're not going to see it when it's tucked underneath okay wendy you're saying you bought two molding mats as well as the stylus handles for all the nibs so that you can flip through them at will and keep them in a little oh my goodness that is an amazing tip so you so by buying extra stylus handles 
you have them all set up and ready to go. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Maggie, you're saying you've got a beautiful day and it's 44 degrees. You've had snow for two days for about an hour. Friend, it's been so awesome crafting. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how to create this card. It's very quick, very easy to put together. And um, it's perfect for beginners or advanced crafters alike. Just how you utilise these images is up to you. I can't wait to see what you create with these. I know that in the Facebook group you share some amazing projects and I'm excited to see what you create with the new feathery florals. Remember, you can save 10% with the new I Want It All bundle and there is a 70% saving on warehouse clearance. So if you're um, on the website, have a look. Those, when they're gone, they are gone for good. So make sure you have a look at those as well. And if you're an insider, you save an extra 20%. So that's an awesome addition to, to your savings, free US shipping. And if you're not an insider, then make sure to check it out. You get access to all of our online classes, all the future ones and past ones. And you get 20% savings as well. So uh, have a look on the website, www.heartfeltcreations.us and have lots of crafty fun, my friend. I can't wait to see you again and craft with you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep warm if you've got the snow. Enjoy the sunshine if 